Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Very good. And you, Francisco? I'm doing okay. Thank you. How are you, Mario? Very good. Uh, my apologize for yesterday because I, I came here in the class. Okay. I was working too late, so don't worry. Sorry for that. Don't yeah. worry. Don't worry. It happens to everybody. Yes. Yeah. Hello, Julia. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. What about you? I'm how doing you okay. Thanks. I'm doing okay. Thanks. Yes. Good for you. Yes. Do you guys like Fridays? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Not exactly in this. Yeah, in this situation, yeah. yeah. In this situation, it's very, it sucks, but yeah, yeah. I love Friday. <laughs> Yeah, yes. you know, e even even if we are under the pandemic uh, situation, you know, it's a Friday, and 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 you feel different, you know, like you, you people like it. So yeah, yeah, because, yeah but you always you are always with uh, this uh, kind of fear inside you that I want to go out and maybe take take uh, for dinner or something. Yeah, and, and I don't know. I can feel that. Uh, mm, that I'm like a, a skirt. Yeah. Inside. I, I don't know how. how yeah, how yeah. The atmosphere is not completely safe. You know. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. if you have a mask, even if you wear gloves, uh, you you have to be careful with everything that you touch. Yeah, but so, I I admit it. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I I get out. Maybe yeah. just to something. Yeah. Right. I right. can be I I can be here at home. Uh, all time, I can't. Okay. And, and do you live yeah. alone, Julia? No, with my parents. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, with okay. my parents. Yeah, people people get, uh, sometimes they get bored, you know, like when you're spending too much time um, in the house, you know. So it's, yeah, it, it's necessary it to go out. Sometimes. Uh -huh. right. It's sometimes. Uh-huh, right. It's bored sometimes. Yeah, I know. Okay, good. All right, so welcome back. It's eight o'clock. What is today's date? Today date, Today is? Friday, 25th. Friday, 25th. Friday, 25th. Yes, September, Friday, 25th, 2020. Yes. All right, so let's begin. Let's briefly speak about yesterday. Do you remember the activities we covered yesterday? Uh, the last one about the meat. Okay, yeah, we were talking about meat. Yes. And yeah, you know, but we didn't finish. What is it? We didn't finish to discuss that. Right, right. Yes, we didn't have um, enough time to answer all yeah. the questions. Right. <laughs> But I think that sure. everybody that likes meat, uh, we agree that barbecues are, are really good. Yes, actually, I, I ate uh, a meat uh, from my lunch today, so it was very awesome. Good, good, nice. I don't know how to say puyas in English. Is What's the, the name of puyas in English? I don't know how to say that one. Oh, it's Pitania? the same like... Picanha, but picanha is in, in Portuguese or in Brazil. I, I remember. I, I, I picanha, don't know. But picanha don't know is it, the same as puyaso? Yeah, it's the same as puyaso, but <laughs> I hear the picanhas, but only in, in Brazil. In Brazil, say picanhas. I don't know why. Okay. And maybe in the United States, they call colute. I don't know. <laughs> but I am, I am I'm inventing that. <laughs> uh, me, uh, th there has to be a name for it because when you go to a supermarket, you know, they offer you uh, uh, different types of meat. So Rebind. it must have a name. Yeah. Uh, I need to Google it. <laughs> okay. All right. So today is September 25th, 2020. So we were speaking about meat yesterday. Um, any questions or comments about that particular conversation? No. Okay, so let's begin. Um, what plans do you have for the weekend? What are your plans? Do you have plans? 
do you? Stay home, be safe. <laughs> no. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, maybe yeah. from Sunday, uh, I'm going to the attack. Uh, All right, good. Okay, so that's going to be your first activity. You guys are going to be working in pairs. But before we start, let me ask you. When you talk about future plans, what structures do you usually use when you're speaking in future? Will or going. Okay, will or going to. Okay. What else? What else do we have? Shall. Shall? Uh, yeah, you can say shall. Uh huh. Or you can, I don't know the, the name of the tent, but you can say on Sunday, I'm having a barbecue with my family. Good. You're using, that's a very good observation. Um, there are, remember, we have 12 tenses. Every tense has a different structure. Every tense has a different function. Some tenses can be used in two different forms. So uh, Erin is saying, on Sunday, I'm having a barbecue with my family. She's using present continuous with a future meaning. So yes. So going to, will, present continuous. How do you say, mañana me habré cortado el pelo? Me habré cortado el pelo. Tomorrow, well, I, will, I, will, I, will I will have, have cut in my hair. I will have cut my hair. Yes. Me habré cortado el pelo. Cut or cut in? Cut. cut. Cut, cut, cut. It doesn't change. Why cut? Because why are you using cut? Because you are uh, you are telling, you are saying uh, cortado. Yes. Uh, remember that cut, so like put and hit, those are some of the exceptions that the three forms are exactly the same. You're right. Yes. So you said, uh, tomorrow I will have cut my hair. Yes. But if you use another verb, you have to use a past participle, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. You, you must use past participle. Yes. So how do you say el domingo habré visitado a mi familia? Uh, the Sunday. On Sunday? Uh, have visited uh -huh. the, to my family. Okay, I will I have will visited have my family. I could have. Okay, what if I tell you my sister comes tomorrow? My sister comes tomorrow. Which tense am I using? My Good. sister comes um, tomorrow. When do you apply S to the main verb when you're using the third simple, person simple, singular? Simple present. Simple, simple present. present, exactly. So um, simple present and present continuous can also be used for future meanings, but you need to include a time expression. So I said, my sister comes tomorrow. So when you mention the word tomorrow, you automatically go to future tense. You, you see how-, how It's the how, same. It's similar to Spanish because we say mi familiares vienen mañana. Exactly. Like that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's so, future. Right. But in English, to have a, a future meaning, you need to mention uh, a time expression tomorrow, next week, in 10 hours, and so on. Okay. So let me assign you to working pairs and talk about the different plans you guys have for the weekend. Let me see these here. Here we go. Start talking. So what plans do you have for the weekend? I can hear you. You're, you're in mute right Mario, now. Mario, how are you? Uh, how do you do today? Uh, very good, man. I'm in uh, my parents' house right now, so pardon if you you hear a, a, a lot of noises right now, but uh, I'm looking at the TV. And <laughs> Don't worry, I had the same problem. I had to oh, okay. ladders. Okay. And they are really noisy. Yeah, okay. So, so Mario. What, what are you going to do on, on uh, the weekend? I talked to, to Francisco a few minutes ago that uh, from Sunday, I will go into a taco. Maybe I will go into a taco with uh, 
with my girlfriend's family. So mm -hmm. only Sunday. Okay. Sunday, yes. And okay. Saturday. Uh, my internet or your internet? I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you well, Julia. Oh, okay. Irene? Yes, can you yes hear I am. Us? Can you hear us? Are you sure? I was asking you, what are yes. your plans for this uh, for this weekend? For the weekend, I plan to uh, visit. I am, I am a teacher. Oh, okay. I I in and tomorrow I will have a, a meet with with parents. Where um, do you work, Kelly? Sorry. Where do you work? Uh, I work at Don Bosco School. Oh, what subjects do you teach? Social science. Science. Oh, okay. What grades do you teach? Yeah. What grades? Uh, it's secondary, is seven, eight, nine, great. Okay, middle school. In, yes. In, in English, you call it middle school or junior high school. Junior high. Yeah. Okay. I, I, seen, I seen that say secondary. Um, yeah, I, you, I you throw, could. I sure, you can say secondary. Uh, it depends on which part of the state uh, you are in. If you go to California, people will usually say middle school or junior or, or junior high school. Okay, okay, right. thank but, you. But, but, but secondary is, is also acceptable. Okay. All right. Okay, I, I say it, uh, that I work tomorrow um i will have a meet with a meeting partners. okay a meeting for fun for parents. okay um in the night i i don't have planes you don't have plans <laughs> um i think that i think that that i will be i will have see my boyfriend okay maybe. Good. Does he live near you? No, he's he live in he live in Armenia. Okay. In, and where are you right now, Eli? Uh, I I live in Soyapango. Oh, okay. Yeah. Armenia is near my house because I'm in Lourdes. It's like twenty minutes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my my sister in law live in Lourdes. Okay. Good, good. Yes. Nice. <laughs> what about you, Wendy? Do you have plans? Wendy? Well, uh, basically I will work. Okay. I will work tomorrow. And Saturdays yes, um, are normal? I will work uh Mm, it depends. In my case, yes, because I have a delay, atrasal. You're behind. Behind. Yes, behind. So you said, I have to work normal because ah, okay. I am behind, atrasal. Uh -huh. I am behind. Uh, I I have to work uh, a lot of things that are uh, I don't know how do you say tareas de 2019. 2019 assignments. 2019 assignments. Yes. Okay. So you are and behind. I have to work on them. Yes. Okay. Yes. A little. All right. Okay. And uh -huh. on Sunday, and on Sunday, I I I will uh, descansar. Relax. Rest. Relax. Rest. 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 Yes, I will rest. Okay. Good. <laughs> nice. I, 
I will, I will have what? I, no. Is I will what or I will have what? Uh, the two options are good. Voy a ver uh, o habré visto. The two options are okay. good. Uh, I will watch uh, TV. Okay. Watch TV. Good. All day. <laughs> all right. All right. Good. So you can say, yeah, on Sunday night, I will have watched a lot of television. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Nice talking to you. I will have is, is like a bre. A bre. I will have. Are. Now, if you say, I will. Only I will. Veré. Iré. Veré. Compraré. If you say, I will have watched, you say, habré comprado, habré okay. ido, habré terminado. Okay. Yes. The, is, the, is the verb is in participle in this case? Past participle. Past participle, yes. In the, other, on, in the other option, I will, I will watch it is past. Simple past. future, simple future. Simple future. Yes. Okay. So I will watch television, veré televisión. That's simple future. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. It, it takes practice because the, the two options are easy to understand. You just need to practice so you can master the structure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, send me all information. Uh, for uh, for email, and I um I uh, read in English mm -hmm. because the all information is in English. Ah, do they send them from the United States or from another country? No, no, oh. no another country in the same company. Ah. Mm -hmm. in the, in the and same company, the. It is an international company because they use they use English for the information. Yes, it's necessary. Mm -hmm. The English for the same. Sunday, yeah, with my... Saturday. Uh, I mean, ah, Sunday, uh, Saturday, and Saturday. And Saturday, I have, a, I have a beer day, so maybe we we, we will go to have a barbecue and, and this well tomorrow, and I with see. all the, the family. Yeah, well, it was a very good weekend because. Maybe the, the next weekend, I have a lot of work to do. Yeah, I talked to Francisco that yesterday I, I had a problem that I didn't hear in the class because I, I'm still working at uh, 10 p.m. yesterday. So uh, wow. we have a complicated situation in these weeks for, okay, for all this stuff. stuff. Yeah, but... Okay. Yeah, enjoy yeah, your have, weekend. Enjoy yeah, your weekend I, I, and, and I will try to enjoy the, the weekend, yeah. Get advantage of, of this free time. All right, all right. Welcome back. Any questions or comments on how to express ideas in the future tense? No. So when when you're speaking in future, you know, future is uh, the structures that people use are easy to understand. You just need to practice them so you can master the structures. They're they're, they're not too difficult. All right. So let's change. Um, how many tenses do we have in English? How many tenses? Oh. 12. 12. There are 12 tenses in English. And remember this, when you master the 12 tenses, your fluency is going to be much, much, much better. Because when you're speaking, um, like the same way we do it in Spanish, when we're speaking, we make a combination of different tenses without thinking, you use it spontaneously. So when you get to do that in English, your fluency is going to be much better. Okay, do you guys remember the present perfect? Who remembers the present perfect? Present perfect? 
is uh, when we use uh, have or has depends the the, the, the personal, personal pronoun. pronoun. Good. Yes. What is the form of the verb? Uh, personal pronoun. The, the, the form, form of the, the verb is in perfect. Auxiliary yes. have. Yes, the purpose is in past participle. Yes. yes. So like, like Jennifer was saying, you know, when you're using the present perfect, you use auxiliary have or has. It depends on which personal pronoun you're using. And the form of the verb is always past participle. The present perfect, the only thing you need to read uh, in, in study is the past participle of the verb. So when you use present perfect, the form of the verb is always past participle. Positive, negatives, or questions, the verb is always past participle, and the auxiliary is always the same. How do you say, no he leído el periódico? I, have the, I haven't read the newspaper. I haven't read the newspaper. How do you say, he leído el periódico? I have, I, read the have read I have read the newspaper. Now, how do you ask another person, ya leíste el periódico? How do you make that question? Have you read the newspaper? Very good. So positive, negatives, or questions, you always use the same auxiliary, and the form of the verb is always past participle. So let me show you this document. Give me a second. Okay, can you see the document? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So present perfect, remember that contractions with native speakers are very normal. You're supposed to use contractions as well. Because you said, I have been in Guatemala two times. I have seen you before. I have given you money. But it's much better when you say, I've given you money. I've been in Guatemala before. I've been in San Vicente three times. The same thing happens when you're using the third person singular. Instead of saying she has, it's recommended that you use she's, his, or it's. So as you can see this part here, verb is always the same. I have seen you before, that's positive. I haven't seen you before, that's negative. And then number three is the question form. Have I seen you before? If you analyze, it doesn't matter if it's positive, negative, or question, the auxiliary is always there, and the form of the verb is always past participle. Uh, any questions here with this part? No? Now, this right here is something that is very common to use in the in the present perfect so you uh you say recently lately just ever never already yet for instance any questions about this vocabulary here um just with with already okay the the position of already in the sentence is at the end or it could be before the uh good question uh it can be used in the middle of the sentence and it can also be at the end. Remember that you use already for positive sentence. So you said, um, yo ya la he visto a ella antes. So you said, I have already seen her. Or you can say, I have seen her already. So you can use already in the middle of the sentence or at the end. The two options are good. Okay, thank you. And remember, you use already when the information is positive. Positive. Yet is when the information is negative, and yet goes at the end. It cannot be moved anywhere else. Okay. Yet always at the end. Yet okay. is always at the end, yes. How do you say, um, ella acaba de llegar? She, she already just came. Came. She has. She, she has. She had just arrived. She has just arrived. So remember, just in this case is what we say in Spanish. 
uh, when you're making reference to something that recently <laughs> happened, acaba, acaban, acabo de venir, te acabo de decir, so you use just. And the concepts, uh, what time did we start the class? <clears throat> what time did we start the class? At 8 o'clock. So I have been in class for 24 minutes. 24 minutes. So 8 o'clock is history, but it's, it's still active. And then you say, I've been in Mexico before, but right now I'm in El Salvador. So notice in both sentences, the action is not finished. So that is the main uh, uh, function of the present perfect to talk about actions that are not finished. Any questions or comments? No? Okay. In that case, uh, teacher, in that case, the two concepts. Uh -huh. uh, have always uh, always is a company uh, always um, go to a company to a company to there be. Um, you remember the the form of the verb is always past participle, so it doesn't like uh, when I say two concepts. Um, you see the first example. I've been in class for twenty five minutes. Right? So 25 minutes is in the past, but I'm still in class. What is the second concept? I've been in Mexico before, but right now I'm in El Salvador, but maybe in December I go back. So the two scenarios, what, what I'm saying is this, sometimes when you're speaking, uh, the action is not in progress, but you can do it again. Okay. Thank you. All right, any other questions or comments? No? Okay, so I sent you the this image to the WhatsApp chat. And right now, based on what I explained before. So can, can you see the document? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So these uh, sentences, questions, negatives, whatever uh, the form you find, you need to conjugate this information uh, to the present perfect. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, let me exchange this guy here. I will exchange this guy here. I will exchange her. And I will exchange her. All right, so here we go. Hmm? Do you work every day? I work from Monday to Friday. And on Saturday I, I work, but not as a teacher. I, I help my husband with the business. But okay. most okay. of the time I'm resting Saturday and Sunday. Uh -huh. You're a teacher, oh. Renia? Yes, I am. 
What, what subject do you teach? Uh, the basic ones, my students are in third grade. I teach science, math, uh, English. I try my best. And Good. Uh, the yeah. uh, subject. Okay, and where do you work? What school? The name is Yanitar Bilingual School. It's here in Lourdes. It's a small uh, school. It's a private school. Okay. okay. What, what's the name again? Janitar. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Nice. Nice. Very good. It's not, it's not very recognized, but the quality is good. great. Very good. Yeah. Nice. Great. No, we have it. Uh -huh. No, we have not. Haven't do. Or haven't have done. Haven't, haven't done. Which, which number are you doing? The number, number five? five. Number five. No, no we, we didn't. No, we have. No, no we, we haven't. No, we haven't. Turn around. No, we haven't. Yes. No, we haven't. Or only, no, we haven't. Yes. Or yeah. no, we have not. But like oh, I was okay. telling you, it's recommended that when you're speaking the language, you use contractions. Okay. Yes. Maybe. They have met. Huh? The president? Mm -hmm. Yes, they have met the president, right? They have met the president, exactly. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. The third one is no, no, we didn't. So, what is the negative form in number five? It's a pass, simple pass. Right. So, how do you conjugate to the present perfect? Only you can add a how. No. Uh -huh. No, we have done. We haven't done. Okay. No. The, uh, it, number five says, no, we didn't. They don't mention uh -huh. any action. So how do you transfer that to the present perfect? No, we haven't. No, we no, haven't. We haven't. Simple. Yes. Very good. No, we haven't. Yep. And the number six is a passive, but simple, right? Which number? Yeah. The number six. Simple pass and the number six. Yeah, did, did Roberto visit Vancouver? Yes, that is simple mm -hmm. pass. Mm -hmm. Has Roberto visit Vancouver? Mm-hmm. Good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me see the other, number eight, uh, number nine. Huh? He, he was a teacher. He has been a teacher. Exactly. Uh -huh. okay. Next is, uh, let me then, see. Were you in jail? Have uh -huh. you been in jail? No. Uh -huh. Have you been in jail? Have you been in jail? I didn't, I didn't okay. clean my room. I I haven't, haven't cleaned, cleaned my room. Cleaned. 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 Uh -huh. I cleaned. Yes, very good. I haven't cleaned my room. Good. Okay. Haven't. So he hasn't. 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 Yes. Hasn't read the book. Number nine. He was teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, he was teacher. He has. He has been a teacher. Good, good. He has been a teacher. Were you in jail? Were you in jail? Have you? Have you? Okay. Have you been, uh -huh. been in jail? In jail. Anda male, iba a tener un bebé, imagina. Been. Eleven. 
It's, it's, cor it's correct. No, it's got to be no, like bean. the way you wrote it's it in numbers. W-E? Ah, double E. Bean. Yeah, bean. Yes. Okay. Uh, eraser. Eraser. Swan. I don't. I, I don't remember. Swan is past participle of swoon. Which number are you doing? The number, number four, fourteen. What is the past pa the past participle of swim? Uh, swan or swim? Okay, swim is present. Swim is past. Swum is past participle. S W U U M. Oh, okay. Swum. Okay. And the past is like the present, just swim or no. with I with uh, E D. No, um uh, you have swim, swim, and then you have swum. Swim, in swim, the past, swim. Just uh, the, the only thing that it changed is the pronunciation or you no, no, read it, it differently? No. In present, you say swim. In present, you in past, you say swim. And in the swim. past, past, you say swum. swum. Okay. Yeah. Swim, swim, swum. Uh, and the sick? Uh, the Peter, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, okay. What about the number 13? It's has she sick or or has been or has been she sick? Okay, has, has she, she has been, been sick? sick? Has she been sick? Has she been sick? Okay. Uh huh. Okay. I estado enferma ya. Uh huh. Has she been sick? Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. And what was the That's other one? one? Okay. Uh, they don't. They don't arrive. Uh, they, they didn't arrive. They didn't they arrive. Have, they yeah. haven't. They uh huh. Haven't. They, they haven't, haven't arrived. They haven't arrived. Yes. Mm. Very okay. good. They haven't arrived. And the last, the last one. Where were they? Where have where been? They have been. Where have they been? Where, where, uh, yes. have, where have they been? Where have they been? Mm -hmm. Yes. Where have, where have they been? Where have Got they it. been? All right, good. Let's go. In the, yes? In the, in the 12, no. They, they weren't. No, they weren't. So how do you conjugate that one to the present perfect? Yes, in the chains is no, they haven't. No, they haven't, exactly. No, they haven't. Good. In this case, is not correct. No, they haven't been. Uh -huh. Not exactly, because uh, in, in the room it says, no, in number 12 it says, no, they weren't. Mm -hmm. No estuvieron o no fueron. They don't mention anything. So when you transfer that to the present perfect, you say, no, they haven't. That's it. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. All okay. right. Let's go back to the okay. main session. Thank you, Peter. Uh, volunteer for number three. Jennifer didn't finish her homework. Yep. Jennifer. Jennifer what? Jennifer hasn't. Jennifer hasn't. Finishing her homework. Finished. 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 Her homework. Finished her homework. Okay. What about number four? They met the president. They have met the president. Good. Number five? No, we didn't. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Number six? Did Roberto visit Vancouver? Has Roberto visited Vancouver? Okay, has Roberto visited? Visited. Visited. So, so remember, it, it doesn't matter if the verb you're using is regular or irregular, it always has to be past participle. So, visited. 
What about number seven? Yes, he did. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Very good. Mrs. Smith didn't read the book. Miss Smith hasn't read the book. Very good. Hasn't read the book. He was a teacher. He has been a teacher. He has been a teacher. He been a teacher or he's been a teacher. Were you in jail? Have you been in jail? Have you been in jail? I didn't clean my room. I haven't, I haven't cleaned, cleaned my, room. my room. I haven't cleaned my room. I Okay, no, they weren't. No, they weren't. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. Was she sick? Has she been Has sick? She been Has sick? she been sick? Good. Did she swim in the ocean? Did he swim in the ocean? Has he swam in the ocean? Has he swam in the ocean? Has he swam in the ocean? Good. They didn't arrive. They haven't they have arrived. They haven't arrived. And the last one, how do you pronounce number 16? Where were they? Okay. So remember, the first word you say where. What is the past tense of are? Where? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you want to say, ¿Dónde estaban ellos? You will say, where were they? Where were they? Where were they? Or, or, or if you come late to your house, you know, like one in the morning, your husband or your wife will ask you, where were you? Where were you? So where is related with places, where mm -hmm. is the past tense of are. So where were you? All right. Where have, have been? Where have they been? Where okay. have they been? Donde han estado? Where have they been? All right. Any questions or comments about this exercise? No. No. Right. Okay. Um, yes. We are using. Uh -huh. We have the present, the past, and the past participle. Yes, sir. So we are using just the past tense with uh, the. Uh, it's a. Okay. This exercise in particular, you're supposed uh -huh. to conjugate. The, the structures that we have in the document, you're supposed to change them to the present perfect. And the form of the verb is always uh, past participle. Yes. Okay. Past All right. Past. Okay. Any other questions or comments? No? No. All right. So let me see this here. Now, this is related with the reported speech. Can you see the document, the, the, the page? No. No, not yet. Okay, let me fix this here. Uh -huh. Okay, can you see it now? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm not surprised at all. She told me what? She wasn't surprised at all. She wasn't surprised at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. So number two, have you heard the news? He asked me. So remember, from the present perfect, you go to past perfect. He asked me, have you heard the news? Okay, so he asked me if I have yeah. heard the news. Me preguntó uh -huh. si había oído las noticias. Uh -huh. so he asked me if I had heard the news. Okay. What about number three? There is a, a, a bank down the street. There was a bank. She said, there was a bank uh -huh. down the street. Very good. She said there was a bank down the street. Now, number four, that is present continuous. Why aren't you talking? She asked me why. Uh huh. Why I wasn't talking. Very good. Why I wasn't talking. Exactly. So from the present continuous, you go to past continuous. Number five, give him a call. He told me. Gave him a call. Okay. Uh, 
in number mm -hmm. five, that's a little bit different. It's simple present, but it's an imperative. What is an imperative? When they're telling you what to do, when they're giving you instructions. So give him a call. He told me to call him. He told me to call him. Yes. He told me to call him. Number six, we're getting married. We're getting we're married. We're getting married. She told me they were getting married. Very good. She told me they were getting married. Was the movie scary? Uh huh. She didn't ask me. The... So from the simple past, you go to uh, present perfect. The children asked me if the, the movie, the movie is scary. If the movie if, has been scared, scary. Has been if scary. the movie has been scary. Has been scary. Has been scary. <laughs> yes, and the last one, we didn't take the eight o'clock train. They told me they haven't took. They, they told me they haven't, they haven't taken. 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 Yes, they haven't taken the eight o'clock train. Very good. All right. Um, any questions about this exercise? No. No. All right. So we got fourteen minutes. And our last activity is related with speaking. Let me see where the topic is. The topic is about something that uh, we don't usually like it, but that is sometimes the only medicine, the only option that we have. Okay, can you see the questions? No. Not yet. Not yet. Nope. All right, let me. Give me a second. <clears throat> okay, can you see the questions now? Yes. 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 Feel free to take a screenshot. If not, I will send it to the WhatsApp chat as well. Okay, let me see this here. All right. So let me reassign you to work in pairs again, speak as much as you can. So I will exchange here. I will exchange here. I will exchange here. Move to room five. Move to room five. And here we go.
when I hear the word medicine, it comes to my mind uh, the physicians, surgeons, um, nurses, hospital. What else? Uh, I got a I got a surgery on uh, on January, and I didn't like it at all. Uh, yeah, I don't like hospitals. Okay, the next one. Do you hate taking medicine? I only take pills if I literally dying of pain. Yes. I don't like to take pills. If, for, for example, if I got a, a cold, like yes. grip, grip and normal, yeah. um, mm -hmm. uh, I don't take medicine. I don't like to take pills because I, I think the, the body has, the body need, needs to clean. By by itself, I I we don't long, I don't like my uh, pills. Teacher, how do you say harabe in English? Syrup. Ah, syrup. Oh, yeah, you're syrup. right. And syrup. injection. 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 Yeah, you can say injection, or if you want to say vacuna, you say vaccine. Injection or vaccine. A vaccine. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I I want to refer about the injections with you. Uh, for example, you are sick of a cold, and the person uh, you need to to get an inje injection in order to get better. Yes. Okay. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I try to avoid as much as possible the injection, vaccine, whatever. I have to to literally uh, feel in a lot of pain in order to, to allow uh, something like syrup or injection. I, I, I don't like it. Yeah. I, I'm a little bit different, you know, like. Yes, me too. Uh, in my... Why? Yeah, go ahead, Wendy. No, no, teacher. Yeah, go, go. <laughs> uh, no, in my case, I was sick. You were sick. Fifty days, and I, I had I don't know how do you say bacteria. Bacteria, like virus. Bacteria. Bacteria. Uh -huh. I had a bacteria, and. Uh, for me, it was necessary uh, to put an to injection. I don't know. To put an injection. Okay. To put in me an injection, but exactly five injection. And for me, it was terrible because I I I hated the the, the injection. And for fifty days, I took a lot of pills like acetaminophen. Uh, amoxicillina and others. Antibiotics? Yeah, antibiotics. Yeah, I, know, I got your point. Oh, anti yes. What do you say then? Antibiotic. Uh, antibiotic. <laughs> antibiotic. Antibiotic. Yeah. You know, antibiotic. I, I, one of that words that I, I, I'm not going to use. <laughs> you know, you know when, when I when I feel bad, I I usually um, cut it off with medicine because I don't I don't like feeling bad. So, in medicine, usually works on me. You know, like I take a pill and the problem goes away. So, but everybody's mm -hmm. different. Yeah, medicine works on you if you take it punctually. Yeah. On time. If exactly. you take it on time and as described, uh, as the doctor said, yeah, prescribed. it will work. But you have to be like uh, disciplined, like take it on time. Yes. Yeah. How, how do you say? You need Discipline. to be disciplined. Discipline. Discipline. Yes. Discipline. Discipline. yes. In order to, to, to medicine work. works. Exactly. That works. Exactly. Yeah. And that is something very important because like the doctor tells you, okay, this treatment is going to be five days, but yeah. the following day you start, <laughs> you start feeling good. He says, Oh, I don't need medicine anymore. And, and you leave it halfway. You leave it incomplete. You are talking ex literally about me. 
That's okay. <laughs> that's that's exactly exactly me. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me visit another room. Okay, teacher. The another one said, "Should all medicine be free?" Should all medicine be free? And I don't want to not. I I don't know what to say. Ideal, but in the in the <laughs> yes, ideal world can be, but uh, I I thinking many people take a boost about that that um, medicine. For example, I remember one one time uh, one people working in the in the company uh, go went to the to the medic medical or um, visit to the medical visit. every week. In all the week, they say a different symptom. Symptom, but uh, uh -huh, But they, uh, he, uh, he don't have any illness. He only go went for receive the medicine. Imagine, it's abuse. Yep. But. I, I, I don't. That, that that situation can can uh, more poor countries maybe I think mm, I think it's the opposite oh. in the in the poor countries they don't have access to free medicine I think I'm not sure oh it's, it's, yeah it's more no uh -huh. yeah. the, the maybe these all... countries should be free medicine. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. in, 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 a, in a perfect world, yeah, they should yeah. be uh, free yeah. medicine. <laughs> Sometimes like, yeah, I hear from, uh, <laughs> for example, for us, uh, uh, the, the Russians or I don't know the Japanese or, this, or the same uh, United States citizen uh, government, they bring us or they donate a uh, uh, COVID uh, <laughs> test for free. So, for the reason we have a, a, a free test or, or, or admission for the this uh, COVID test, but mm -hmm. we have a, a limit uh, test for COVID uh, are free, but yeah. uh, some uh, in, in other case uh, the government they buy the the, the test from the COVID test. Yes, Actually, but it's because, what mm -hmm. uh -huh, but it's what we were saying before that. Uh, he, the medicine is not free, but some insurances cover part of the treatment, but you have to pay for the other part, so it's not completely for free. It doesn't yeah. matter if you have uh, an insurance that you pay every single month, you have yes. to pay when you are going to have a treatment. If you, if you have a, a, a social security, or if you have a, <laughs> a, a secure, a private secure, Maybe you have to, to pay uh, a percent of the of the price of the medicine, but yeah, in other insurance. case, insurance. Sorry, yeah. the insurance. Uh, for in other case, for example, today I I have test uh, COVID test, and for me it was was free. But if you buy a COVID test from the, for example, other uh, laboratories or companies that like that, they cost one hundred and sixty dollars. It was exactly. free. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, maybe you didn't have time to finish all the questions, but it's nine o'clock already. So we need to finish our session. Uh, I want to thank you for making the space, the time, and we continue this coming Monday at the same time. You guys have a nice weekend. Thank you. Nice weekend to all. Thank you for you too. all. Nice weekend, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye